Hello, my name's Gordon, my whiskey zero, Golf Bravo Romeo. I'm a great believer in a picture speaks a thousand words, so rather than write a thousand words, I've made a video of how the trombone capacitor was built for use on my 40 meter magnetic loop. So here is the magnetic loop. I've put the trombone capacitor in situ just to show you where it will be connected when it's finished. Uh, on the left hand side you'll see a shielded Faraday loop, that's the feed loop I'm going to use to connect up to this magnetic loop aerial. As I stated in the text it's a single turn coil or solenoid and it will be forced to resonate on 40 meters by the trombone capacitor. Okay, the first thing I did was to solder these two end caps onto these 60 centimeter copper tubes. They don't have to be there, but I put them there to keep water out of the tubes. Secondly, I screwed the white plastic clips onto a piece of wood. This happens to be a piece of hardwood, but it doesn't need to be. It would probably be better if it was made of plastic, really. But this is just an experiment, and it will work, I'm sure. So the white plastic clips are to hold the 22mm copper pipes in situ, like this. Next, I put the white plastic conduit down inside the 22mm copper pipe. Pushed it all the way to the end. Yep, that's in. And cut it off here. I wanted to leave at least a centimetre between the end of the copper pipe and the end of the tube. I'll explain why in a moment. Next I took my 15mm copper tubing and to help me ga gauge the correct length I've pushed it all of the way in. I'm just going to withdraw it out just over a centimetre. This tells me how long this 15mm copper tubing needs to be. Once I've got the length of my 15mm tubing cut. I took the stop end 15mm or, or an end cap if you prefer and I've soldered it to the pipe. In true Blue Peter style here's one I did earlier. Not the best soldering but they don't really have to be a, a particularly good electrical connection these stop ends are here for another reason. I'll show you that next. As you may have noticed earlier, when I put the 15mm pipe down inside the plastic tube, it wobbled about quite a bit. It was a pretty loose fit. And that loose fit can make the capacitor unpredictable. So I've put these 15mm stop ends on here and as you can see it's still a little bit loose but it's nowhere near as loose as it was. If you don't want to put 15mm stop ends on you can do what I've done here. I will change this in the future. Put some black tape around it so that the black tape just fits inside the tube. Same again. Now, I know that when I get to that point, I'm at maximum capacitance. 
and the end of the 15 millimeter tube doesn't touch inside at the end of the 22 millimeter. Okay, here is the trombone capacitor in situ, ready to be soldered to the main loop. In this position we have maximum capacitance and the loop will resonate at its lowest frequency. As we pull the trombone out the capacitance will reduce and the resonant frequency of the aerial will increase. I'm hoping somewhere around there will be 40 meter band. Possibly at maximum capacitance I may get 60 meter band or 5 megahertz. Wish me luck.